Joining me now is CPA and market analyst Dan Geltrude. Dan, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Give us your top few investment tips right now. Sure. Listen, you want to start investing as early as possible, Maria, because yeah. compounding time is on your side. So start early. Those 401ks, when you have matching, there's no reason not to take advantage of that. The next thing is, is that you want to diversify those investments spread out that risk because when you have all your eggs in one basket what happens to that basket if things go a little bit south and of course what are your goals are you looking for retirement savings how about college buying a home so you need to stay disciplined and on focus to what you want your outcomes to ultimately be yeah, I always tell younger generations the easiest way to get to becoming a millionaire is your 401k. Don't forget to use the max. Don't leave any money on the table. If your company's going to match it, take it. It's free money. Yes, it is. And you should always have the mindset of when, it, when you're an investor, it's not about working for your money. It's about your money working yeah. for you. Yeah. And that is why time is on your side when you're young. But listen, Maria, anytime you're going to get a mentality to start to invest, right? It goes back to when's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago. Next best time today. So it's never too late to have your money working for you. Yeah, great point. A recent survey finds U.S. adults believe they need to save nearly a million and a half dollars just to retire comfortably. That's up from 1.27 million a year ago. A recent Fox News poll finds 64 percent of Americans think that they're paying too much in taxes, Dan. So uh, how much do we really need to retire? <laughs> well, you're going to need a lot more than what Social Security or the government is going to be able to provide for you. That's for sure. So the number out there right now is 1.5 million. Listen, if you want to be able to save that kind of money or shall I say earn that kind of money to that point, you need to start right now because no one is going to help you. You have to help yourself. Mm -hmm. What is the most important uh, issue we need to understand aside from that 401k, Dan, in terms of uh, saving and investing wisely for the long term? Listen, I think the main thing is, is to stay focused in on what your outcome needs to be. Maria, you know what I say? Work backwards. See where you want your outcome, and then what are the things you need to do to be able to get to that point? You can't just say, well, I'm going to invest emotionally. This sounds like a good idea. Idea, that doesn't work. Yeah, I, I, and I would say, I would add to that, one of the most important things is saving. Pay yourself first. Every paycheck, put money, sock it away. That's exactly true, and it's a great point. Always think about yourself first, Maria, when yeah. it comes to investing. I like it. Dan, great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maria. Dan Geltrude joining us. Quick break.